Hello everybody, my name is HD 1450 welcome back to the video and today I am going to show you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.13. So if you guys enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel, I really appreciate that. And also guys, if you want to know how to install it for 1.12 and all that, I might leave a playlist down below in the description and you can go and check that one out as well. But anyway, it's not doing any more talk, let's get straight into the video. So yes guys, the first thing you're going to want to do is go straight over to uh, Google or whatever internet explorer you use. And before I actually do any more, I will say I'm actually using Windows 10. So yeah, this should work obviously on Windows 10 and also Windows 7 and Windows 8. So it should work on all of those as well. And for Mac users, I'm not really too sure how this works because I've never had a Mac before. But I'm sure it's pretty similar uh, how I'm going to do it today. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So yes guys, you are going to need Java. So make sure you download Java. I will leave a link to all these websites in the description. So basically guys, you can come down here. As you see right here, there's 32-bit for your browser and for actual Java. And there's 64-bit right here as well. Now guys, if you do not know what 64-bit uh, and all that means, basically it's the operating system on your computer. And basically if you have 64-bit, you need to download 64-bit. And if you have 32-bit, you need to download 32-bit. And if you guys do not know what that is, I will show you guys what to do right now. So you want to do is come down to your window key and click on settings. Now once this menu pops up here, click onto system, then head straight down to about, then basically right on here, basically system type right here, 64-bit operating system, that's what mine is right there. Now if you have a 32-bit, this should be 32 right here. So if yours is 32, you need to download 32-bit, and if yours is 64, you need to download 64-bit, basically as simple as that. And yeah, so basically I need to download 64-bit, so... I will click on this link here, and before I click on this link guys, if you go download 32-bit, I think it's probably going to tell you to download 64-bit, uh, because of, um, I don't think they support 32-bit anymore, I'm not really too sure um, what's um, their deal here, but basically you can read about it by clicking on this link here, and yeah, I will have a download link, well a uh, link to the website in the description, so yeah, make sure you check out this and read what they actually say on here, but anyway, I'm going to go straight to 64-bit, and now what we want to do here is go straight to go to java.com so that's basically right at the bottom here and click on that and basically it's just how you to download it right here so all you've got to do is click the download link and it sh should download for you and now once it actually downloads it should be this file right here it should look something like this what you want to do is double click it and then a menu on your screen should pop up so basically I'm going to double click it right now and it should um, come up as a menu on the screen saying yes or no and now guys I don't know if you can see this on uh, the recording right now but basically it's brought up an option right now um, saying like if you want to click yes or no and, like it could harm your drives and stuff like that it's never going to harm your drives just click yes that's what you have to do to install it so basically I'm not going to install it because I've already got it installed and it takes quite a while for it to install and now once that actually installs with Java installs and all that just leave it out on the side you don't need that anymore and now what we'll do is come back to Google or whatever Internet Explorer you're using and close down the Java website and now what you need is Octavine so basically I will leave this in the description as well guys and now as you can see 1.12.2 is right here but we are doing it for 1.13 so we got to do is click preview versions up here and you see right there 1.13 and it's actually a beta I think it's actually a beta for early access so yeah some stuff's not going to be working properly but still you can play um, 1.13 with shaders and you can actually use that zoom in anything I think that still works on here. And now guys, all you got to do is click on the download here, and it should take you to Adfly, and then you can go through with the download then. So yeah, make sure you just click on download, it should take you to Adfly, do not click anything else on Adfly, because uh, most likely they are scams, so yeah. Usually you guys will have a pop-up in here, and it should be a pop-up in here, and um, yeah, usually it's a scam, so do not click on those. All you have to do is wait for this seconds to go down up here, and then click skip add, and once that comes out, like that and we'll just click download here so yeah let's click that is it there right there click download on that and once that is downloaded guys it's right there so basically it's right there on my desktop and now before you actually install that what you need to do is launch up minecraft so we'll launch up minecraft right here and basically i've got no other um versions installed so it's going to tell me to actually i think download the new update basically actually all i've got is 1.13 in here that's all i i have right here so i'm going to keep play right now and I'll let that go through and once that's going to be loading up and now guys once this has launched up just like this on the actual main page all you have to do is click quick game right there that's all you have to do and now what you'll do is go straight to that um, Octavine file right here so that's what we downloaded just a minute ago that Octavine 
1.13 right there and just double click it and then click install simple as that so click install now as you see it has it installed and now just click OK on that and now guys if you guys do not see this coffee mug here uh, on this file uh, try right clicking it and open with then click open with Java right there that is what you will have to do if you do not see that uh, coffee mug right there but make sure you do install Java because this file will not work so yeah and now you have done it on this one these two are done now as you can see now guys basically the last thing right now you will need WinRAR uh, because you will need your files uh, like these book stack right here so basically just download WinRAR so go straight over to that site and right here you can download 64-bit and 32-bit right here so you just click on the version you need and basically this will be link, uh, linked down below as well guys so you can actually click on that link and get straight to this website so just click on that and it should just download straight down here simple as that then once it has downloaded what you've got to do is double click it and then install it so basically it's going to tell me to click yes or no because uh, it might harm your files or the drives so yeah basically it won't ever do that and now guys all you've got to do is click install down here I'm not going to do it because I've already got it installed so yeah just click install down there and that uh, which should work now guys basically you don't need that anymore I will quickly say something as well guys when you actually go to download uh, the actual Octavine it will say that it could damage your drives and guys it will not damage your drives I've downloaded this Octavine so many times before and my drives are totally fine and it yeah it just won't do that uh, anyway once we are done with all these three here you won't need those anymore so basically now what you can do you can actually just launch up Minecraft and now once it's launched up, as you see, automatically it has put 1.13 Octavine right there. So technically we've got the normal release and 1.13 right there. What we'll do is launch this up. And now once this is launched up, guys, what you want to do is get the shader pack you are going to use. I will be recommending this text pack right here because it actually seems to work on 1.13. So yeah, make sure you actually download 1.13 texture packs. But anyway, guys, I will leave a download link to this texture pack in the description. So you can go and download that. But anyway, once we are here, all you've got to do is click on options, video settings, and then straight down to shaders down here. As you see, I've got nothing in here right now. I click down on this folder right down here, so shader folder. And then it should bring up a folder like this, basically one of your folders on your computer. And now what we'll do is actually drag in the folder or your shader folder in here. So technically, I'm going to move my Minecraft off to the side right here. And here is my folder, shader pack folder right here. Now this is my shaders right here. All I've got to do is drag it in there. Click X on that, and you see it's right there, right there. So all you got to do is click that, and this might take a little bit to load up because I don't know why it just takes a little bit to load. So yeah, it's loaded right now. Let's so double screen and just click done, and done. And what we do, we go straight into a single player world, and actually see what this looks like. As you see, guys, we actually are in the world right now, and yeah, you see it actually works and all that. So yeah, basically this is how you install Minecraft 1.13 shaders. And if you guys want to know how to do more stuff on Minecraft, let me know by leaving a like on the video and let me know in the comments and all that. And yeah, I will definitely do it. So yes guys, this is basically it for this video. If you guys actually enjoyed it, remember to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. I really appreciate that. But anyway guys, I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.